Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Daniel here with another video looking at the war in the region. So today I'm in Blakelow, Newcastle upon Tyne, and I'm looking at the site remains of the filter control room for number 13 group of the RAF. Following the Battle of Britain, it was recognised that the central command structure was in danger of being overloaded with information from the various radar stations and observation posts. To overcome this potential problem, each group headquarters was provided with a filter room. The purpose of this facility was to receive all reports of aircraft locations and to assimilate and assess this information in order to provide the most accurate possible picture to the operations room. The filter room for Kenton Bar was built on a separate site in Blakelow Quarry. This facility was somewhat smaller than the group headquarters, but was built to a similar pattern. A link to my video on the 13 group headquarters can be found in the description box below. By 1943, the air defence requirements had changed with the increase in offensive actions against occupied Europe and a reduction of massed bombing raids on Britain. 13 group was subsequently amalgamated with 14 group on the 15th of July 1943 and the group headquarters was renamed RAF Blakelow, becoming a sector operations room for the Catterick and Ouston sectors within 12 group. This change in rule meant that the filter room became redundant and was taken over by military police in 1944. The exact role of the Blakelow bunker at this time is in some doubt. There were proposals to establish a joint US Army Air Force and RAF Command Centre, or even to convert the site into a maintenance unit, but neither of these appear to have come to anything. In September 1944, the filter room was turned over to 321 Squadron attached to 22 Group. Following the declaration of victory in Europe, the site was wound down. Council Proceedings of 1952 record the purchase and fitting out of the former RAF filter room at Blakelow as the Newcastle County Borough Main Civil Defence Control Centre, with a purpose-built sub-control centre being built at Heaton. The former RAF filter room at Blakelow remained in use until the stand down of civil defence in 1968, after which date it was retained on care and maintenance as a county borough war headquarters. During the 1971 Home Defence Review, it was still officially performing this rule, and in 1974 it was ceded to the Tain and Weir County. The newly formed Newcastle City Council officially designated it as their war headquarters, but nothing was done to the site due to the council's extreme left wing policy on civil defence. In 1982, the Subcontrol Centre in Heaton was designated as the main war headquarters. In 1986, Tain and Weir County was abolished and the newly formed Tain and Weir Fire and Civil Defence Authority was in turn formed. The Tain and Weir Fire and Civil Defence Authority wanted to turn Blakelow into a modern emergency centre, a scheme that was halted by the end of the Cold War in 1991. From 1984, the site had been rented to the local Sea Scouts, becoming T.S. Nelson, a use which continued until around 2000 when the site was vacated. Following the departure of the Sea Scouts, the small brick blockhouse above the main entrance was demolished, with the rubble thrown down the main stairwell to block the main entrance. The sunken emergency exit to the filter room was retained, but the doors were welded shut and a metal grill was welded across the entrance porch to prevent unauthorised access. Today, the filter room bunker stands in the middle of Moulton Court on the Blakelow Estate, between two high-rise blocks of flats. The sunken area containing the emergency exit has been filled in to bring it up to the level of the surrounding ground which has been landscaped and turned into a public garden with seating. Below the surface, the bunker remains in a respectable condition. All of the rooms on the upper level, apart from the toilets, have been stripped of all original fixtures and fittings, with the exception of ventilation trunking which is still in place in some of the rooms through the bunker.
so haven't had a so haven't had a bit of a look around the site there's not actually all that much which remains to this day um there's the exhaust ventilation shafts which we saw in the video there's those couple of pieces of concrete with a couple of bits of metal in them which weren't buried and there's some of the modern additions of the manhole covers which are still exposed but otherwise there's not a whole lot left of the bunker um, you know, they did a good job of filling the area in when they turned it into a park and there's still a slight slope in some of the areas which indicates that there is something underground but um yeah otherwise there's not too much to see but i hope you find this video interesting if you did it'd be great if you could hit a like also please don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future updates and we'll catch you next time thank you